Damn, today caught me off guard, I must admit. I felt completely wiped out from yesterday. And now, if you watched yesterday's video, you're probably thinking, what, like, you didn't do anything. Unfortunately, I didn't record it. I wanted to do a part two like I did the other day with jujitsu. But I played football for the first time in at least 18 months. Probably closing in on two years. And I woke up this morning feeling wrecked. If I'm being completely honest, I didn't respect my sleep well enough. I didn't set myself up to have the best sleep. So I've only got myself to blame for that. However, I wasn't expecting to feel as tight as I did. Again, I didn't stretch anywhere near as much as I should have after playing football, which is obviously going to be a contributing factor. But I wasn't expecting to feel as wrecked as I did. Like my whole, like my CNS felt taxed. My grip was taxed from playing football. I was so confused. I woke up with sore forearms. And now that probably has something to do with the insistence on learning how to do the muscle up yesterday in combination with playing football. But I I do feel like my my body was very shocked at the stimulus I put it under yesterday. And again, it doesn't surprise me. I haven't done any sort of conditioning like that for a long time because at the end of the day, when you play football, that's what you're probably running. Yesterday, I probably ran anywhere between 7 and 10K in an hour session. And whilst that doesn't seem or sound like much, you take into consideration the sprints and the sharp cuts and the way in which you have to use your body in the sport is taxing. And I forgot how taxing it was. Like This is something I used to do every single day just for the fun of it and would never really feel the physical strain of it because my body was just so used to it and so conditioned to do so. However, when you neglect it, so to speak, and then come back to it, the stimulus is going to be extremely shocking for your body. And that makes complete sense. That's completely understandable. But I didn't expect it. I'll be honest. I didn't expect it. It caught me by surprise. It really caught me off guard. And today was supposed to be the heavy deadlift day. And so technically today is officially the first day I've missed the beat on the program. And again, I'm not mad about it. Um, like I alluded to yesterday, the deadlift portion of the last week of the program was the thing that I was least stressed about. I, in one way, I was most apprehensive about it. It's the one that I feel least confident on. However, due to my lack of care for the lift in particular right now, I'm not too bothered um, by that. So I'll get those done tomorrow. But with that said, I'm not frightened of even postponing that another day because next week will inevitably be a deload week of sorts. Um, whether I choose to then test after that or not, we shall see. However, with next week being a deload week, uh, if if I have to start it with the heavy deadlifts, then so be it. Because I do want to, I do want to do the deadlifts from a physical and mental place of feeling good, feeling confident and feeling like I can give it my best shot due to me not having the confidence of being able to do it as much as I did with the bench and the squats. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Whether it's tomorrow or the day after, I, I don't yet know. Today, again, I just played around with the, the muscle-ups and did a, a few sets of, excuse me, a few sets of RDLs and, and called it a day. I just needed to... The RDLs, the only reason I did the RDLs in the end was literally just to like get some <laughs> resist like uh, get a resisted stretch throughout my posterior chain and that felt good that felt real good um but yeah if you made it this far thank you very much and i shall see you tomorrow